This is Tom Hartman for CityNetMagazine.com. Uh, we're nearly at the close of uh, WordCamp Montreal 2011 in downtown Montreal. Uh, we've uh, taken the opportunity to steal away uh, Shannon Smith, uh, the four, one of the four organizers here, um, just to be able to talk to her a little bit. Uh, thank you for uh, spending some time with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Excellent. Now you are a powerhouse. You are an energizer bunny. So you're, you're an organizer here. Tell us uh, what was your, your job? Uh, what did you contribute to this actual event? Wow. Um, <laughs> lots, your favorite part? Lots. My favorite part. Probably my favorite part. Um, I think my favorite part was getting everybody on board, you know, helping, helping find speakers, helping find sponsors, dealing with people. I, I really like that. And I'm really happy that so many people have come to our event this year. We've had the best turnout we've ever had with uh, about 300 attendees, which is really phenomenal and a huge increase from last year. And it's just wonderful. And I'm really happy that the crowd just keeps getting more interesting, more diverse. Everyone's bringing something. And it's really a great learning opportunity for everyone who comes so I'm extremely happy about all of that. What did uh, what made you want to uh, add more to your schedule and actually be a part of this? Uh, well I think it's just it's one of the tech conferences that um, I mean Montreal has a lot of tech conferences and they're all great and there's people doing wonderful stuff but WordCamp is a little bit special it's it's a lot more open uh, it's a lot more welcoming um, I think that in particular there's a really great place for women here um, our our uh, conference last year had about 25% women speakers, and that's really high for a tech conference. And I'm really excited that this year it was up around 33%. I don't know the exact numbers; I have to crunch the numbers, but it was much higher, and it seems to be increasing every year. And we're trying really hard to get um, a really great, interesting, diverse crowd of speakers, and we're getting more and more success at that as well. And it's really exciting. Well, I believe you had a, um, a presentation yesterday uh, at the close of uh, Saturday about uh, uh, where are the women. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, last, the, one of the last talks yesterday was uh, sort of a brainstorming session. So it wasn't a, a, a conference, it was an unconference. And basically it was getting a room full of people, women, men, uh, you know, everyone coming together and suggesting ideas on how to get more women involved, more diversity in the community, that sort of thing. And it was really great. Uh, I'm really, I, I mean, I was really excited to see so many people contributing their own ideas. I think that's excellent. Uh, you know, I was just happy to be part of it, really. Well, uh, obviously, uh, having uh, women uh, be more of a part of the, the tech community is something that's uh, important to you. Um, I understand there's a, a project that you're working on for, uh, for this fall. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, apparently I don't have enough conferences to organize, so I'm organizing another one. Uh, this one hopefully will be in the fall. It's a conference for women in tech. We're hoping to have um, training sessions for women in various types of technology. So, for example, having like a one-hour, um, you know, women in Python. How do you learn? How do you do Python? One year, one hour talk on that. You know, one hour on PHP, one hour on Ruby on Rails, that sort of thing, as well as a more traditional conference setup. And we're hoping to get. Um, um, like high school girls, we're hoping to get like really a, a nice crowd out for that as well. So that's my next project. Excellent. Well, we know that um, you were part of uh, the organizing, organizing committee last year for WordCamp Montreal. Uh, can we count on you for next year? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> if they have me back, I'll, I'll participate, yes. <laughs> Excellent. So where can we get more information about you? Uh, well, um, I also have a web development company, so I, uh, it's called Cafe Noel Design, so probably my website's probably the best place to, to find me. Uh, what's the uh, domain name for it? CafeNoelDesign.com. Excellent. So we'll get that up on the website. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. This is Tom Hartman for CityNetMagazine.com. Take care. <laughs>